Our next Halloween stop is At Home. And At Home had a lot of sort of gothy sort of skeleton, a lot of skeletons that you'll see. Uh, starting off with this giant candle display. Uh, we have these skeleton candles at $10.99. And check out these, uh, these cat, they, they had long candles, they had short candles, any sort of shape, size, you'll see them all here. And uh, the prices were sort of all over the place. I feel like At Home is usually on the pricier side, but uh, $4.99 for those. That's not too bad. We had some witch finger candles. I don't know about these. These are, I mean, they're kind of cool though. $10.99 for those. And uh, we had some other ones. Look at this eyeball one. Super cool. I feel like they had a lot of monster theme stuff, but you'll see a lot of gothy sort of skeleton stuff as well. Uh, $16.99 for those. Like I said, none of them were the same. $9.99 for that cool uh, zombie candle. I feel like that was pretty cool. And uh, this, uh, Skeleton with the crown on its head was interesting. This brain candle, eight ninety nine. dollars uh, We actually did pick this one up. I think it's cool. I think it's super unique. So we did get that one. Uh, these white candles with sort of the black dripping on the, uh, you know, coming down from those. We'll see some different ones later. This one is kind of tough to pick up on camera, but it is a three stack of skeletons that I thought was really cool. And I love those candles right there. Sort of vintage looking pumpkins. Uh, $3.49 for these tall black candles, and then you had a three-pack. These were actually electric candles, sort of like more on the fall side. But yeah, just a great selection of uh, some skeleton candles here. We have a four-pack of uh, those mini skeletons. I love this candy corn uh, candle right here. And uh, not so much these black cat ones. Usually I'm a, I like black cat decorations. Those uh, weren't the greatest. And then uh, ones that I was talking about uh, earlier were the blood candles, $7.99 for those. I thought those were really cool. And then we have just, you know, the plain basic orange ones. These were $3.49. They actually had another larger size to the left of that. Check out these light up ghosts. These were $17.99, which I think is a little pricey, uh, but they're super cute. Haven't really seen anything like these. Check out these wacky pumpkins here. And uh, yeah, these, I don't know. They just had a lot of fun, playful decorations. I really like this three pack right here, $12.99. We actually got this one too, a black cat, a ghost and a pumpkin. And then check out this garland, super nice. Um, some of these, uh, this is a Halloween barn, I guess. It does light up, $19.99. The prices, man, they're just so inconsistent with this store. So you kind of have to dig and, and get good value. Uh, but this uh, skeleton sitting by the pumpkin was kind of cool with the cowboy hat. I like that one quite a bit. And we are uh, approaching the next thing, which is this Grim Reaper on sort of a bone throne. I really like this one. A lot of detail. $29.99 though. I don't know about that, but it was pretty heavy and lots of detail. Like sort of like the cracking stone and, and whatever. Uh, this next one, we had a skull candlestick, $21.99. Again, lots of detail. Uh, I, I like these sort of darker, gothy decorations. We have a skeleton with a bat over its head for $11.99. I like that one, too. It's pretty different. Never really saw that before. And then going down here, we have an unfortunately shaped <laughs> pumpkin yard decoration. Uh, it was kind of cool, though. And then this sort of tin pumpkin decoration. I believe this was, yeah, it was $29.99 is, or $39.99, but it did have a lot of cool like monster uh, details and stuff. And then this uh, cowboy skeleton in the rocking chair for $19.99 was pretty cute. Uh, this next display, we have some smaller wooden decorations. I feel like these were, you know, sort of on the cheaper side, $4.99 for that cat. Uh, we also have this sort of classic looking $3.99 pumpkin. And then some electric candles here. We have sort of a candy corn looking one. Check out these mini ghosts though. It comes in a set of four. And I really like that one. I thought that was super cute. Uh, we also have a gnome decoration back there. The three gnomes with the three jack-o'-lanterns in front of them. Uh, $8.99 for that. Not terrible. Not terrible. And then I like these uh, tall candles back here. Especially the ghost one. And those were kind of cool. And then we had more of these sort of mini orange ones. Uh, heading over, let me know in the comments, do you make a Halloween 
sort of Christmas tree? Because they had a lot of Halloween sort of Christmas tree ornaments. I don't know. It's sort of like a weird new thing. Uh, $6.99 for these sparkly pumpkins. Immediately regretted that. Had sparkles on my hands forever after that. And then sort of these glass $2.99 uh, jack-o'-lantern sort of candle holders. I like those. I've seen those before. Some more assorted pumpkins here. And then check out these little creepy guys. $5.99 for... I don't even know what the heck that is. Uh, we have another skeleton head there. I like sort of these smaller ones. This black cat, I gotta say, brought me back, man. I feel like my mom had something like this. $6.99 for like the silhouette. We also have a crow here at $5.99. So I really like those. Those are super vintage to me. And then we have a couple wooden signs here. Home sweet, haunted home, and welcome my pretties. And then a light up... Uh, sort of jack-o'-lantern, scary scene, pumpkin. I thought that was kind of cool as well. $19.99 though, I don't know, man. Uh, $14.99 for this little uh, pumpkin truck pillow. And then check out this one, Ghost Hunters, open 24 hours. I like that one, the ghosts like sort of in the jail cell in the back. Check out this display, guys. Check out all of these glass skeleton heads in all different colors. You have all different colors, purples, blacks, and there were only $2.99. So again, going back to the pricing, it was pretty inconsistent, but I love this display. These could fit any sort of aesthetic that you have. Um, also, this October 31st pillow, really cool. And then I love these big signs here. These were all $24.99, but they were like huge signs that you would either put like on the back of a door or like on a, you know, a longer wall. Uh, I like these. I like these quite a bit. And then a sn uh, ooh, sneaky display look. Uh, they were still putting a lot of stuff out. A lot of the shelves weren't super full. So I feel like they were maybe half stocked uh, when I went there. Those gargoyle statues. Check out this crow on a, on a skeleton head. That was kind of cool. And then more of these candles. Some of the, some of which we've, we've seen before. And then going down here. Kind of like a cool skeleton hand candle. Going over to the yard, you know, yard and lawn section, we have some of these tin signs. Uh, some of these were cool. We had a welcome pumpkin sign, and then that little gnome holding the acorn. That was kind of cute. And then look at that happy fall truck one. And then this one's my favorite, sort of like a vintage pumpkin sack one. And uh, some really cool stuff. I don't know. The prices weren't terrible on these. These are more like for your yard. Check out these wacky monster eyeball ones. These were super fun. Not my thing, but they were kind of cool. And then this one, well, this one's probably my favorite. The candy corn bat star one. Too bad I don't have a yard. I would get that. <laughs> we have the three uh, skeleton head ones, do not enter. And then another vintage looking one, the trick or treat sign, which was really cool. And then this giant skeleton head one, which I like quite a bit. Check out this fall wreath as well. Not many fall centric ones, but that was kind of cool. These pumpkins guys, if you go to at home, you need these. This is pumpkin horchata. Uh, yeah, that came home with me. That smelled amazing. Uh, some of these spider dishes here. We have sort of like a uh, like a cake holder one, $29.99. And then one with uh, an area for like dip. Spider ones. I don't know how you guys feel about those. Those are cool for parties and stuff. But I like those quite a bit. Um, so they had pumpkin horchata, apple crisp, and the third one was wrapped in flannel. Let me know which one you would get below. And then some of these witchy decorations, deadly toe stools. Uh, we'll see more later on, like in the video, but they actually had quite a bit of uh, witch decorations as well, which is always a good thing. This candle was kind of cool. The top like lifted up completely. And then some of these longer candles I thought kind of looked cool. $7.99 though. You never know what prices are going to be here. Uh, there's a poison jar, more of these witchy stuff, uh, deadly nightshade, and then witch hazel, which I thought looked really cool. And uh, also more skeleton stuff. Tons of skeleton stuff here. Giant skeleton jar. That was $24.99. It's kind of refreshing seeing less pumpkin stuff and, you know, something else like skeletons. So that was kind of cool. And then the skeleton bowl never saw, you know, I've never seen anything like this, but $24.99 on that. And then also a skeleton plate, which uh, I like the look of that. It was pretty cool. So lots of skeleton stuff at at home. Finally, we're getting back to the pumpkins here. Light up pumpkins, $9.99. I feel like those are pretty cool price. And they, and they came with uh, a black variant too, which was cool. 
uh, $5.99 for those smaller pumpkins. And check out these sort of uh, glass skeleton bottles. I don't know. Apparently they light up. Looks like they have like small string of like fairy lights in them. But those came in uh, quite a few colors as well. And then another shot at some of those $2.99 skeleton jars. I like those. Uh, we have a pumpkin stack here. These all light up. There was like, there was like this white color. Uh, there was like an orange stack to the right of it. And they also had a yellow stack at $19.99. Not too bad, not too bad at all. And then some more of these bottles in green and purple. Check out this witch shoe. I like this quite a bit. It had a, a lot of details in here. And then on the back, it had a cute little ghost. I love that one. I guess you would put like a candle in there or something. Uh, we also had this Halloween cup. I uh, didn't really like that, but we did have this stand up broom at $4.99, again with the sparkles. Pat, what are you doing? Uh, this doesn't really come up on screen too well, but it is uh, sort of like a coiled sort of snake uh, candle there. Pretty interesting. And then a cauldron version as well. So some pretty unique stuff. You don't really see this at a ton of other, other stores. Uh, $14.99 sort of uh, gothy candlestick there. And uh, check out this weird monster mushroom thing. I don't know. $5.99? I don't know. That's kind of cool. Uh, we had a owl with a couple of spell books and then some some more gothy looking pumpkins. So pretty cool stuff here. Uh, and then we have another Halloween pillow. I like the graphic on that. $24.99. Little pricey. I kind of liked it though. Uh, broom hair don't care. That's uh, the, <laughs> the next pillow there. And then check out these mossy sort of uh, monster pumpkins. Some leaf decorations on there. And then this monster pillow. I'm excited for this part of the store to kind of fill in more because I sort of like the fantasy sort of monster uh, decorations that they have. So those were kind of cool. Uh, another big display of these glass pumpkins I thought were really awesome. Lots of different colors. And uh, these were all $8.99, which I feel like is a fair price. And uh, depending on what your theme is this year or, you know, the way that your room looks, they have a bunch of different colors. And then also these big tin pumpkins. I like all the vine details on the top. And uh, yeah, I believe those were $24.99. So really cool decorations. Uh, and then some more, uh, some pumpkin like kitchenware, which was kind of unexpected, this giant pumpkin dish. And then check out this. I love this little pumpkin teapot. I should have got this. This is like super unique stuff. And uh, I quite like that one. And then another pumpkin, sort of just small dish. I don't know what you would really put in there, but at $5.99, it, it's, uh, it's not a bad deal. Uh, these ended up being $9.99. I was kind of checking for the price on these, but these are glass pumpkins with uh, the glass witch hats on them. And I thought those were really cool. They came in a bunch of different colors too. There we go, $9.99. And then uh, some of these gnomes. The sunflower gnomes, I, I really do like. I'm not a gnome guy, but I do like the gnomes uh, with the sunflower, you know, accents on them. Some more glass pumpkins here. Lots of selection. And then these were cool. Some uh, some boxes. So we have thankful. We have welcome to our haunted farmhouse. That was kind of cool. And then the farm fresh pumpkin patch ones were my favorite with the, uh, the red and the orange uh, boards on the side. Those were kind of cool. We have this nice fall... Uh, decoration there. I, qu I quite like that one. That was, was pretty cool. And then uh, we had a couple deer decorations, simply blessed, sort of like a, more of those tin signs. And then these fabric uh, pumpkin stacks at $19.99 weren't too bad. Some, of, some more of those gnome decorations and uh, just a general fall, uh, just the general fall section there. Some more pumpkins here. Welcome fall $5.99. I like those quite a bit. And then this was really cool. This wheelbarrow uh, it says hello fall and the wheel actually moves some more of those sunflower decorations on there. So that was probably my favorite in this display. And then some more of these gnomes and then check this out, this truck candle um, at $16.99, a little pricey, but I, I kind of like that one quite a bit. Never seen, you know, stuff like that. And then some squirrel decorations. And then on the bottom, we have these small candle holders at $1.99, they also come in red as well. So those were pretty cool. And then check out this fox sign, it says happy fall. 
I like that one. We have uh, Apothecary Pillows. And uh, this section was kind of cool. Check out this mirror at $14.99. Hi, how's it going? That was me. Uh, $24.99, some witch's mirror and uh, had a lot of detail on it. I like those. Uh, just like this spell book, which I didn't check the price on because it was pretty heavy and I was one hand on the camera. You know how it is. Uh, some witch's shoes down there. And then check out this, this little mossy pumpkin with the frog on it. And then a snake coiled around a pumpkin at $12.99. Some pretty cool and unique stuff here. And then uh, heading over to the witch section, we have uh, a zombie blood container. We have a poison warning container and then an eye of newt bottle. Uh, this was probably my favorite snake venom. Had a lot of details on there. Sort of that gold snake wrapped around. And then the scale of dragon. Some of these had those dragon toppers on them and some of them were plain. So just like look out for that if you're there. And then we do have some uh, some welcome doormats that say welcome with a spider on them. And then uh, hope you brought booze with the different Halloween drinks on them. That was probably my favorite one. A little corny of a saying, but I think it was still cute. Uh, this one was cool too. Welcome foolish mortals. I like the, uh, the graphic on there. And uh, I think those were the only three that they had. But, you know, a pretty cool selection. And then the final selection here, we have some Halloween towels. Hey boo. Uh, a ghost with a banner, and then some witchy ones. But that was pretty much it at my at home. Uh, that was, I would say, probably 50% full. And uh, let me know what your at home is like, and uh, which store should I go to next? See you later, guys.